been wanting to post this since forever, but I had a lot of difficulties with my mail carrier, the USPS, I want to kill them. Um, they tend to deliver my ColourPop, then take it back, and then I have to like go through this whole process of me having to go to the post office instead of just having it delivered here to my house. The second time they did that with my ColourPop order, I wanted to strangle the people. They're so rude. They're so rude in my poster, um, the postal service. They're so rude. The office downstairs is rude. I was just like going crazy. I was like, just give them my mic before I like kill someone. I literally wanted to strangle at each and every one of them. I was so stressed out. Then finally I had to go to the post office and get these. And finally, I got my freaking ColourPop bronzers that I've been waiting for since forever. So I did get them, supposed, I was supposed to get them since last Thursday, but I barely got them this Monday, and I haven't been able to film this whole week till today, Friday, so I don't know when this is going up, but today y'all gonna get my ColourPop haul, which I'm so excited about. You guys know I'm crazy about ColourPop. I'm probably like their number one fan, but they don't even know it, you know, they don't recognize a girl over here. Okay, so yeah, right now they're having, I'm probably going to post this, <clears throat> like, after they have their birthday celebration. So, if you guys did see, get their birthday celebration, you guys are getting their free birthday girl, ColourPop Shadow, which, girl, I might order another thing just so I could have, like, a backup of it and give it to one of you guys. <sighs> I'm so excited about it. <sighs> Anyways, I haven't swatched these. I just looked at them, admired them, been like, girl, let me put you on my face because I really want to try you. Um, I've been wanting to do this video, but I also want to do another video. Let me know if you guys want me to do a unicorn talk about boys, relationships, and sex. Um, that's going to be a whole video in one. I just don't know when to film it, and I don't know if you guys want to hear about it. Like, my personal experiences and what I think really about the whole situation of boys and relationships and just sex and all that. So if you guys want me to do a video on that, let me know. I want to get more people, like... I don't know, I want to do more, like, personal videos, um, just because I feel like makeup is kind of, like, so superficial. Even though I, I, I fucking love makeup, I want to do more, like, I don't know, personal things with you guys. Not just, like, look at this lip gloss, it's freaking popping. I want to be, like, you know, like, you're going through a hard time, maybe I could help you, or stuff like that. So, yeah. Anyways, that is all subject, girl. Get back on track. I drink too much Red Bull today, so I'm, like, like all over the place. Okay, so the bronzers came out about two weeks ago, and I'm just in love with the colors. I haven't swatched them, I haven't did anything with them, so let's get started right away. Uh, each ColourPop um, bronzer is going to run you $8. There's six of them so far. I don't know if they're limited edition or they're going to keep them in the line. Um, usually I email ColourPop, but I forgot to email them today to see if they were going to be limited edition. They just turned one, so happy birthday ColourPop. Um... Let's get started with the colors and swatches. I hope this is close enough for you guys to see the swatchy swatch. Um, let me adjust my eyes because every time I look into this ring light, my eyes like get really discombobulated. So let me look down a little bit and then I'll be able to tell you guys the actual colors, not just like guessing off the top of my blind eyes. Starting off with the first bronzer I pulled out is called Carry On and it's a matte bronzer. I think there's two types. And this is what it looks like. This is Carry On. You guys see? It's a little bit more warm. And it does have that pattern that the blushes have. And this is it right here. Ooh, pretty look at that. Now probably these are going to be a little bit more difficult to contour and like actually blend out on your face because they are a little bit more moussey. So you're going to probably have to use a double, what's it called? Dual fiber stippling brush because it's just gonna make it a lot easier for you you know the next one is happy hour which girl i love me some happy hour i love to get crunk but today is friday it's the first friday in a few that i haven't gotten a little crunk um and this one's really chocolatey sort of color and this one's a matte as well this is it right here oh girl that one is Good for my darker skin tone sisters out there. Ooh, I like this one. I'll probably use this one on my scalp too because I like me a little bit of a dark contour. Um, and it tends, it does blend out nicely. Look, <laughs> look, it could even minimize the darkness of it. 
Um, next one is Paradise Cove and it's a satin. So there's two finishes, I think. It's a matte and satin colors. And this one does tend to have a little tiny bit, like teeny weeny 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 shimmers. And it does have more of a glow to it, not just like matte like the other ones. It's more of a glowy bronzer. So this one you would probably use to bronze up your face. Um, make sure you guys close them tightly when you do get them because they would dry out. They are a creamy formula, so you don't want that to dry out your blushes or bronzers, whatever you guys get from ColourPop. Next one is Poolside, and it is also a satin. It's a little bit darker than, um, what's it called? Paradise Cove. It's a little bit more warmer of a color. And let me learn how to swatch. Right here, it's a lot darker than Paradise Cove. It's this one right here. And this one does have a teeny bit of a glow. It's a little bit more glowy, you see? Like you guys can tell that it's going to be glowy on the skin. The other ones, you can tell they're going to be matte. So that's what that one looks like. Really pretty. Eh. Next one is Bon Voyage. Like, bye, bitch, be gone. That's what they're trying to sell. Tell you, not sell you. <laughs> um, and it's a matte color. Let's see this one. It's one of the lighter colors. That one's probably going to be really hard for me to even use. It's this one up here. This one is really, really light. And this one right here, it's a matte color. This one will probably be a good sort of, um, probably shadow for me, like a crease color. Because it is not showing up. It's, it's like my skin tone. That is basically my skin tone in a bronzer. You guys can't even see it because it's really, really light on my skin. So for my lightest skin sisters out there, this will be perfect for you because it doesn't look really, it's, it's kind of like the perfect contouring color for you because it's really light because you can't even see it on my skin and it doesn't pull too much of a warmth. It's more of a neutral undertone. Now the next one is skinny dip. Now I would never skinny dip because one, I ain't skinny and two, nobody want to see my fat ass naked in the water. So. This is a nice name, but not for me. <laughs> uh, this one's a matte color too. And this one has more of a, what kind of, this one looks like poop. But it's a nice, well this would be a nice contouring color for me. Um, it's that one right there. And no, it's not a Michael Kors watch. It's like a fake ass watch. I got a hope look and I, I really don't like watches, but one day I wanted to get me a watch and I didn't want to spend like $400 on one and I spent 20 bucks on this and it looked good so I like it. Um, yeah, I got it off Hope Look. It's called Janie and James watch? I don't know. But anyways, back to those watching. Is this one right here. It pulls a little bit. I think it has a neutral undertone. It's not too warm and it's not too cool. It's like the perfect in between so you could contour with that one. We'll get a little bit of a little bit of a cup. That was all the colors. Now as a review and as a first impression sort of, I would say that you guys would have to use a stippling brush with these. So if you use a really dense brush, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So let me show you guys what's probably gonna work best with these bronzers and what's probably not gonna even work with these bronzers. So these are fluffy brushes. These are probably gonna be horrible with them because they're gonna leave you streaks, they're gonna leave you like blotchiness on your face so you don't wanna use anything like this. These are too fluffy. These are not going to pick up the product right. They are synthetic, so they would, I don't know. They wouldn't, I don't know. I wouldn't use these for my face just because I feel like they're going to blotchy my face. So, so, no. But something I would use with these is these brushes. They're dual fiber brushes. These um, are a little bit more easier to work with with cream products. This one's probably great for bronzer and this one's going to be great for contouring because it's a lot smaller more or less um guessing game for where your cheekbones are i got a nice highlight going on i'm using wisp by ColourPop on my um top of my cheeks if you guys wanted to know but anything like this would probably work great with these and yeah so far i love the color selection they came out with a really dark color and a really light color so everybody in between can use them they came out with two satins which is nice because not everybody likes a matte bronzer they want to get more of that glow more of that glistening natural look and a lot of people do like matte bronzer so I'm glad they came out with four different colors and they're gonna suit everyone's mostly everyone's skin tone I think they do need like a super dark contouring powder because I feel like um, what's it called 
happy hour is not that dark it could be a lot darker but overall the selection is great the price is always right for me eight dollars is amazing price is it's an amazing price. I need to learn how to speak proper English here, okay? Because I be speaking some stupid ass words sometimes and I'm just like, shut the fuck up. So far, I like them. I need to play around with them more on my face and not just on my hand because, you know, it goes on different on your face and on your hand. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys love ColourPop, and if you guys pick any of these up, remember to tag me on Instagram, Twitter, not on Facebook because that's my personal page, but just remember to tag me or tell me down below in the comments if you guys picked anything up from ColourPop that I've recommended. Um, also, if you guys want to do like a top 10 products from ColourPop, let me know and I will do that because I have most, I have all of their products. I have lip liners, lippy sticks, color tricks for your cheeks, for your eyes, for your everything, for your body. So let me know if you guys want me to do that. Again, I love you guys so much. Thank you for always supporting me. Thank you for being here for me. Thank you for staying with me throughout this whole freaking journey. I will be having a giveaway soon. I just have to pick up the products that I want to give away. So maybe that'll be in June when I have my giveaway. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you guys enjoyed this video or if you guys want anybody else to see it, just share it with them and let me... That was it, right? I repeat myself so much. I'm just like... <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys in the very near future. Bye. <laughs>